Check that out. All right, I got my acrylic pieces. Uh, I showed you guys last video. Uh, it's time to peel them. Oh, look at that beautiful black acrylic. Just gotta be careful I don't cut myself on the edges here. Not sure yet if I'm gonna use this smaller piece or if I'm just gonna go with two baffles. Um, basically thinking it's gonna look like this at a minimum. Oh, let me show you guys. So I did build these little um, fixtures to help me uh, put this in place. So basically kind of little spacers I have and uh, so that way you'll just go like that like so I actually needed another one but um, so like I said I'm going to use this well done 16 so I've never done this before um, hope I don't make a big mess got paper towels I am going to wear gloves I don't want this stuff all over me. I'm not sure how messy this will get. Alright, here goes nothing. Wish me luck. So I'm just going to run a bead. So I don't really care if it's too... It is very messy. If it's super messy on here, um, because it's kind of on the back anyway, no one's going to see it. It's supposed to be fast setting. I didn't think it'd be with this runny, to be honest with you. So this one's going to go to the top. Wow, it is, oh, it is pretty fast setting. I can feel it already being um, set in there. Okay, it's not too bad. Oh, actually I should run a bead. Just to reinforce it on each side. It doesn't have to be obviously watertight, but it just needs to be pretty strong. So this one's gonna go all the way to the bottom this spacer on. Perfect. Now I'm going to use some tape to uh, kind of secure it, secure them together. Sixteen is kind of hard to come by, so I probably shouldn't be wasting it. But just want to make sure that it's uh, nice and secure. All right. Probably should have done this in a more ventilated area than my office. Um, so I probably should take this out somewhere. Uh, let it dry outside where it can air out because uh, I can smell the fume. So if you do this at home, do this outside or in a well ventilated area. So now it's time to uh, work on the weir. So Algae Warrior, thank you for your suggestion uh, in the comments of uh, the last video um, to make the weir removable so you can clean it. And actually I think it'll make it easier to install. At least that's the uh, the hope. What I was thinking was um, 
epoxying two pieces like this. I don't know, I'm hoping it will stay. Sandwiching it uh, in between there and that way this can slide onto the, uh, onto here. At least that's the idea. That should stay without having to box it. So we'll see how sturdy and stable I can make this. I have no idea, uh, but worth a shot, right? I'm just gonna run a bead of epoxy. All right, well done. On here. sure there's enough space in there that might work might be a little um a little bit of an angle but i think that might work check that out all right here it is uh here's the build it's not the cleanest but it's actually not too bad and it's pretty darn solid um use plenty of uh weld on to get that nice and secure so i'm really happy how it turned out be honest with you i think it looks really cool and uh couldn't be happier with this uh weird installation so let's um let me show you guys how it looks uh, on the tank so basically all i need to do is um, stick in here and turn it and voila look at that Here's what it looks like. Now it's time to uh, silicone it in place. All right, so I actually ended up having to, uh, I forgot I need to tape all around here um, so we don't get any of the uh, silicone on the um, acrylic because it doesn't stick. So that will not be good. Of course, I just need to tape this side of the tank so we don't make a mess. Neat enough. Put out a little spacer here. I think that's good. I think once we get the silicone in there, we can probably manipulate it. All right, let's do this. I always want to wear some gloves. I don't want to get all that silicone. Um, all over you, of course. Little dispenser gun and then silicone. Of course, chopstick to uh, break the seal. All right, it's actually pretty nice and thick. Forgot to tape the bottom. Not bad. Oh, this stuff stinks. It is 100% silicone. Hopefully it's reef safe. Looks like it's nice and set in there. All right, let me uh, see if I can take off the, uh, safely take this off. That way I can clean up a little bit more. All right, I gotta do, uh, gotta do some cleanup here. Um, and then uh, let it dry and see if it, uh, if it stays, if it holds. All right, here it is after a few hours set time. Um, all the tape's gone. It's pretty in there solid. Um, really happy about how it turned out. And by the way, uh, sorry about the poor audio. 
uh, had a lot of audio problems <laughs> doing this video. Um, that's why uh, this video has kind of been a little funky, but hopefully you're enjoying it. But I think most importantly, I got this part of the project done and I'm so happy. There are the three compartments. Water goes over, under, and over and out here. Actually, let me get the, uh, let's go get the, uh, the weir and see if we can set it in there <laughs> um, the way it is. So it does kind of bump in there onto the, fortunately, this lip here. Almost, yeah, I guess you can manipulate it in there. There we go. I was able to, I was able to sort of manipulate it in there without destroying this whole thing, but there it is. Sweet. So there she is with a weir installed. Not bad. But I'm super happy with how this thing turned out. Hopefully you guys think it is uh, looking pretty good also. <laughs> um, my very first DIY all-in-one job. Not bad. So there's definitely a huge milestone in this project, but we are far from done. Next step is to install the uh, return pump, return nozzle, add some sand and rock, water, and get this thing cycling. So if you want to follow along, be sure to uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. And until next time, stay salty. Thank you.